All right, Miguel. It's just us. So really? We'll do some football related content. Finally, we don't have, you know, pushback from Roa, Kush. I don't think Kush really minded either way. Mm. I think it was just Roa, really. Um, so we're doing start, bench, sell. I'm going to give you three players um, and we're going to decide if we're going to start one, bench one, or sell one. I assume we're probably going to have different opinions on this, but. That's the, beauty, that's, the beauty, that's the beauty of it. And we're going to get flamed by TikTok comments, I'm sure. That's fine. That's what I want. All right. First one. Start, bench, sell. Skulls, Lampard, Gerard. For argument's sake. Yeah. We sell Lampard. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're, L- both, we're both agreed with that. We're both Lampard agreed. overrated, but he just scored some goals. Yeah, like nah. who, anyone could score goals, bro. <laughs> really? Absolutely. Well, I'm agreeing with that. We'll sell Lampard. It's just, I know what your answer is and you know what my answer is. Look, all I'm saying is, you know, the age old debate. You look at whose opinion matters most in this debate, footballers. Past and present footballers who have played the game, they know how the game works. Give me that. They can see the beauty of everything that you know the the, the normal common man. I can find you the a football fan quotes of like, oh Zidane said, oh Gerard's one of the greatest midfielders I've ever seen play. Blah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. one of. I can show you quotes to say Skulls is the no one best. said that Skulls Shabby Iniesta Z- Zidane. What they've said that they've said Skulls that is the best, better than them. No, when in that conversation of the three. You know, put skulls in that Barcelona team, bro. They're winning so much more. They were going to, they want everything. What more can they more. win? <laughs> more, even more. Dude, Gerard could Skulls was a master wins. of the game. He controlled the game for one man, controlled the whole game. Gerard had the leadership, the passion, the drive. He carried that mediocre Liverpool team. And what they so win? So many wins. What did they, what did they win? One. FA Cup? One. <laughs> one Champions League. They were down 3 0. I'm not. Look, I'm, I know you're not going to disagree. I mean, I know you're not going to change your mind and I'm not going to change my mind either. Start well, Gerard, <laughs> bench Skulls, sell Lampard. I disagree wholeheartedly. Start Skulls, bench Gerard, sell Lampard. We'll make two TikToks out of that. <laughs> oh yeah, true, true, true. All right. Start, bench, sell, Buffon, Casillas, or Noya. That is a tough one. That is. I'm going to go bold. Buffon is overrated. It's just because he's fucking 43 and still playing in Serie B. Bro, like that ass. Isn't he in the Serie A still? No, he plays for Palmer in Serie B. Oh, bro. right. Fair enough. He went back home type vibe. Oh, good man. When he went to PSG, did he play? No. No. He hasn't played probably since 2015. What I team feel. did he play for? <laughs> Juventus. That fucking steamrolled the Serie A with like what? Chiellini, Buffon. Not Never Buffon. won a champion. Bonucci. All them lot in front. So obviously he's going to do well. I'm not saying he's a bad keeper. But I just think in the grand scheme of goalkeepers, he's a tad overrated. All right, then I guess it's between Casillas and Neuer. So what, what's happening? But then is Casillas also that good as well? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Because when you look at the greats of, I'm talking, I'm, the sad thing is I'm putting into the perspective of the greats of all time, goalkeepers, right? Of course. Neuer, I'm putting up there, no question. He modernized the position of goalkeeper. He did, sweeper keeper. And then you t- look at like, who else are the great goal? Like Peter Schmeichel, that sort of echelon of goalkeeper. Yeah. Casillas again, is he a product of a great team, dare I say? No, oh, I mean, he did win well, a couple of Champions Leagues, World Cup, Euros. I, yeah, I think I'm skewed because he had a, his, his decline was big. Yeah. Went from signing to Real off. Madrid to Porto. Porto, yeah. So I will bench him. So my order is start Neuer, bench Casillas, sell Buffon. I agree wholeheartedly. Start, bench, sell, Luka Modric, Andrea Pirlo, or Andres Iniesta. I'm coming out with a lot of hot takes. Dare I also suggest Xavi and Iniesta as standalone players, also overrated. <laughs> this Sta- is not my opinion at no, all. No, sta- together, bro, one of, if not the greatest, the greatest. Duo of all Let's time. The greatest. But take them out of the system and take them away from each other. Are they- They're that- not system players. Are they, no, are they to the level everyone says like best midfielders of all time? Well, that's a hypothetical. Like yeah, but they all, always play with each other. At club level and national team. Yeah, but so that's all we've no, ever but that's seen. The thing. So that's, that's all you can judge them on. Yeah, so they come as a duo. I still think Iniesta is one of the greatest midfielders of all time. Yeah, but then you put look at Luka Modric, Ballon d'Or winner. That Ballon d'Or, look, with all due respect to Luka Modric, that was just a how, protest how, vote. How old is he now? 37. 37. And he's running the midfield still. Longevity. Where's Iniesta at 37? Japan. <laughs> he was managing, bro. <laughs> No, he's not. Is he managed? He's in Japan. He's, he's still, still playing, playing for right, Vissel yeah. Kobe. Well, Pirlo was still playing until what? 36, 37? Albeit in New York FC. Well, I feel like I'm calling every player overrated. Pirlo also, I think, is going a bit more off reputation than 
his ability. I'm not, I want to preface, I'm not saying that they are not world-class players. They're not legends of the game. They are. I'm saying they are. Oh yeah, yeah right, right. But right. at the same, um, that's but that's the standard I'm putting them to. Yeah, right. And Pirlo in p- modern day football culture is like the godfather, right? He's like that figure yeah, yeah. of class and all that. You reckon he's just been overrated? You know, people who've never seen him, but like, oh, like oh, everyone says he's so good. Therefore he must be that good. Yeah, but also at the same time, he's, he's like a skull. He runs the game from, yeah, yeah. from his position. But Juventus, was he sort of, was he hidden? Behind Paul Pogba. Come off it. <laughs> Arturo Vidal and Claudio Marquisio. Yeah, they all worked together. It was a good- They were the workhorses exactly same to cover his for, flaws. It's the same argument you said for Iniesta, Xavi and Busquets. They all worked That's well what together. I'm saying. That's why Modric for me. Modric has Casemiro and Cruz next But he's to done him. it in Croatia as well. Yeah, where he had Kovacic, Perisic. He had a good, decent midfield. Decent, not world-class. Yeah, fine. Pogba, right. Vidal, Marquisio so in their time. what are you saying? What am I saying? What are you saying, Sam? I'd like to hear what you're uh, saying. My, my opinion is start Iniesta, bench Modric, and sell Pirlo. I could agree with that, to be honest. So after all that, <laughs> you agreed with me. <laughs> <laughs> next one up, we've got a bit of an English theme for this next one. Start, bench, sell, Jack Grealish, Phil Foden, Mason Mount. I think this is a pretty straightforward one, in my opinion. I love myself a bit of Jack Grealish. I've got to say. Right. Is he better than Phil Foden? Mason Mount is in the bin. I'm um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mason send Mount, him. <laughs> send, sell him, bro. Mason's in the bin. Mason Mount, he can run a bit. He can do all that, yeah, but it's, it's compared I, to I the- I haven't seen anything great from him. The two ballers, Foden and Grealish. Foden, potential to be better. Foden is but, clear of Grealish in my opinion. Who went for a hundred million pounds? That's just the market. The market is what the market is. I'm sure if Foden went now, he'd be well over a hundred as well. I Foden think is so much better than Grealish. Grealish. Uh, Foden has the potential to be better, but I think still at this point in time, Grealish is still the better player. That That's outrageous. Grealish is still the better player to fill Foden. So you're starting Grealish, benching Foden and selling Mount. Call I'll me Pep Guardiola. <laughs> Start, bench, sell, Van Dyke, Ruben Dias. Did I, say, did I pronounce that Ruben Dias. Ruben Dias. And uh, Sergio Ramos. Is Sergio- <laughs> Ruben Dias, sell. As yeah. much as as much as he's a good player, yeah, a great player, Darius, world, world class form, player. Though, Ramos hasn't played in like a year. But this is the players we're yeah. saying of all time. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not comparing thirty like forty two year old Sergio Ramos to prime Ruben Diaz. All right, that's unfair. Yeah, Sergio Ramos. A lot of people put him in com- conversations of greater centre back of all time. Yeah, I can agree. Is with that, that a fair? I think that's fair. Even as a Liverpool fan, I think I can agree with that. Is he that good though? I he scored he a few headers. A few to win a Champions League. That could oh, have been start the comeback. What? He won three in a row, won four in total, won a World Cup, couple of Euros. I'm just being devil's advocate here. I agree. He's a, he's a very good centre back. <laughs> Van Dyke is also put in that conversation of I greatest agree. centre back of all time. I agree. But I think he's still probably below Ramos in the all time pecking order. So what are you saying? I'm saying you start Ramos. Bench Van Dyke and sorry Ruben Dias. As a you Liverpool fan, as a Liverpool fan, as a Liverpool fan, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not one-eyed. You know, I'm happy to say that <laughs> Dia, uh, sorry, that Ramos is above Van Dyke and Paul Scholes better than Gerrard. Shut up. <laughs> Start bench sell, Özil, Muller and De Bruyne. You see, you're, you're starting Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> oh. There's no, there's no shadow of a doubt. This Kevin- is all time, like not current form. This is all time. What does Muller do, bro? <laughs> I know he you're gonna say Muller, bro. He presses a bit. <laughs> so does the Bruyne. <laughs> Look, I've always everyone in football loves Muller. I've never understood the love for Muller. Look, he's like he's like, in my opinion, he's like a Bobby Firmino kind of. He he's he's got a no. He's got a specialist position. He's got a very That's the problem. Specialist, yeah, like and only he can do that position. Exactly. It's like, um, but your system needs to be able to work around him and fit him in. Yeah. So when like he's. He does work for Bayern. He's a system. Un- he's unreal. Yeah. But I don't think he has versatility. I agree. Like Kevin De Bruyne. Mesut Ozil, I think is he's a romanticized player. No. People people like the that. idea of Mesut Ozil. A, a, a You're silk- just remembering the stinky last few seasons he had where he barely didn't want to play, like was asking for too so much what, money. So what, where is his good se- seasons? Real Madrid, are you kidding Where me? he had Cristiano Ronaldo. Still, someone needs to play. Kaka, for Di Maria. Benzema. And his first two seasons at Arsenal, when Arsenal were actually decent, and they had a few like title uh, yeah. pushes. Again, I'm not saying he's a shit player, by any, but Kevin De Bruyne, year in year out, 
all round midfielder. He does. I, it, I got, he can do everything player. Mesut Ozil can do pl- and more. No, dude, Mesut had the flair about him, dude. There's something about Mesut. That, I really like Mesut. Yeah, that's what I mean. You like him, but he's not better. Oh, that's, he's also, Mesut Ozil great. is a luxury player. He's the definition yeah, of a luxury he's, player. He's the proper number 10. Kevin which, De Bruyne, you don't, he's not a luxury. He fucking grafts as well. Uh, look, that's, I used to be a Mes- I used to be on the Mesut Ozil side of things, but De Bruyne can do everything Mesut Ozil can do and more and better. So you're saying start De Bruyne. Start De Bruyne, bench Ozil, sell I feel like we're gonna Thomas get Muller. I think this Heated is a popular comments opinion. about that. I, I personally think you start Ozil and bench. Uh, KDB. All right. Start, bench, sell. Cancelo, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and Hakimi. This Look, one's- Hakimi, you're good on FIFA, mate. Pace merchant. You're good on FIFA, mate, but <laughs> compared to the other two- Look, Cancelo now, now, now I'm picking between Liverpool and a Man City player. As a United fan, that's kind of pick my poison. I, I, I offer a solution to this. Actually, no, I want to hear your thoughts and then I offer a solution to all this. Jao Cancelo can do anything Trent Alexander can do, except absolutely except not cross the ball. Which is literally- no, He can game. still cross the ball, just not to the elite Trent, level. Hot take, Trent is the best crosser, in the, crosser of the ball in the world sure. right now. Sure, crosser. That's one aspect of the game. It's a pretty big one, set pieces. And especially with the way Liverpool right, can't, play, he, we use our fullbacks. He can't lot. defend. He's that a defender that can't a, defend. I hate that. He's a defender that can't defend. The biggest thing that people Bro. who don't watch Trent. Marcus Rashford can do fucking Trent. He doesn't even have to defend that much. He's got either Matip or Kanate on that so side. So you're and telling Hendo. me a fullback, a defender has to be shielded by other defenders. It's just the way we play. He's so high up the field that he's got you know another center back who covers or Hendo who does half the defending as well on that Cancelo, side. He, it can create as much as Trent Alexander, not by crossing, I'll give you that, but by other parts of play, he's a better defender, two-footed, he can go play left and right, he can pop him in wherever and he does a job, goal threat somehow, <laughs> and he can defend and he works in the system. I would, I agree, great player, very good player, but I just the Liverpool fan of me is always taking Trent, so I'm gonna suggest- I'm unbiased here, I hate both, all <laughs> right? <laughs> You got a fact, I hate both. We put Cancelo at left back <laughs> and Trent at right back and you sell a keep. You don't even bench, you just sell him. <laughs> I, by day, you start Cancelo, bench Trent Alexander-Arnold and you sell Hakimi. Start one, bench, sorry. Start, bench, sell, Mendy, Allison, Edison. Oh, wait, which Mendy? The- Edward, we, Edward. So not the- No, 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 not the- Not the, those who not be named. Exactly, not the brothers. Mendy, Allison. Edison. Edison. Mendy, my friend. Yeah. You're in the bin. No, good good keeper, bud. And just by Brazilian manager's choice alone. I don't know who starts for Brazil, but I I'm think gonna, Edison's been starting recently. I back Edison then over Allison. Allison who am the I best keeper in the world? Who am I to say I know more than the Brazilian national team That's manager? True. That's a good point, but I think Allison will probably start at the World Cup. Allison, start for me. Edison on the bench and sorry, Mendy. All right, final one. The big one, start, bench, sell, Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar. Neymar's just kind of, you know. He's just there. <laughs> I mean, in any other given trio, you know, he'd have a fighting chance, but just, it's unfortunate. So really it's just start one, bench one, Ronaldo, get, get it out, get it up. You All start right. this man, you start him. And here is my most recent argument to this debate. What did Messi do this season? No, we're not new looking team, at this season. New bro. team, We've new- We've established that. We're looking at their entire- Well, li- this is like part the, of their the lineage, of legacy, work. legacy. The right? body of work. Messi is two years younger, right? Allegedly the better player. Playing in a he worse league better with better players. What did he do this season? And don't come at me with, he got the most assists in the league. <laughs> Fucking 80% of them were in two matches. They won like nine nil each. So don't give me that stat padding, all right? Is Messi the GOAT? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Cristiano Ronaldo is the best player of all time. No, he's not. He's a great player. He's up there. He's probably top three of all time. Maybe even top two. Top one. No, but Messi just, just by pure talent alone. Messi this man is does. 37 years old Messi's and he's the second high, bro. second or third highest, depending when you watch this. Listen, you, a goal uh, scorer you in the Premier League. You, you know, whose opinion matters the most? Footballers. If you see any video, they you ask. You see a lot of footballers also say Ronaldo, yeah, my friend. 95% of them will say Messi. A lot of them say Ronaldo. Gerard said Messi the other day. Gerard's Declan overrated. Rice said, Declan Rice overrated. They all said Messi is the GOAT. And he is. Rio Ferdinand says <laughs> Ronaldo. Oh, I could enough. I could bring in any old player here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's ask his mates: Carrick, <laughs> Skulls, Vidic, yeah, Ryan Van Geeks. Let's yeah. ask him. Very unbiased <laughs> opinions. <laughs> exactly. 
Ronaldo is the guy. He can if you're building a team. Messi, no, no, that's every a lie. day of the week. Ronaldo can fit in any team. Messi cannot fit in any team. You put in Ronaldo in any team, you have at least a goal scorer. Let us know if you disagree with that take or any of the other shit takes we've had. Ronaldo is by far a better player than Lionel Messi. Numbers alone, talent alone, put him in any team, he'll score a goal. Put him in any, fu- put him in PSG, he's doing so much better I than Lionel Messi. I want to distance myself from this man. Take outrageous claims. Messi is a system player. You took him out of the system, what has he done? I can see the comments already. These guys don't know ball. First, if you're calling a ball, shut the fuck up. That's such an American <laughs> term. Shut the fuck up. I hate those comments. Anyway, start Ronaldo, bench Messi, sell Neymar. 